So uh, we've spoken uh, about calorie deficits before and most of you watching this video uh, will know what a calorie deficit is. If you don't know what a calorie deficit is, um, then look back at the previous video and I'll explain it in more detail then. But um, the biggest mistake that we find that people do when they go on a diet or go on a plan and create a deficit, whether they know they're creating a deficit or they do it unknowingly, is they drop their deficit down ridiculously low. So this is a common mistake um, that most people will make when they first diet. When they realize um, that there are different size deficits, this is when diet, dieting becomes really easy. So most people, when they start dieting, again, whether they do it knowingly or unknowingly, they will want a quick result. They will want a quick drop in weight and a quick drop in fat loss. Now, if there are different ranges, like I said before, but if you drop your calories down too low, yes, you will drop fat and you will drop weight. Um, more often than not, you will drop weight at a quicker rate, but you won't be able to do it for a long period of time. Um, your body adapts to it. You have symptoms and signs that show when you drop your calories down too low. So let's say you drop your calories down um, 40%. This becomes incredibly hard to maintain that uh, when you're looking at dieting for a long period of time. So if you're looking at dieting um, for a holiday and you've got three, four months to diet at a 40% deficit. Now, when I talk about deficit, deficits, you, look, you basically find your maintenance. Um, there are calorie calculators out there. We've got one on our website. Um, that's your maintenance. That's how many calories um, you require to stay exactly as you are now. That's your maintenance line. So dropping below 40% below that. Now this is where we struggle to keep them calories. You can become lethargic. You tend to have more cravings. Um, you have no energy. And usually when our energy drops, we tend to move less. Now this is also another common mistake. When people diet, they move less than they normally do because they have no energy. So the, the main question that we have uh, people say that they have cravings and they're hungry and they don't feel like they can continue dieting. What we tend to do when we have a new client in is we drop them into a 10% deficit. It doesn't seem a lot. So let's say you're on 2000 calories at maintenance, you only drop down to 1800 and a 10% deficit, but you will have more calories to play with. You will feel a lot better and you'll still drop fat and drop weight. It will be at a slower pace, but you can maintain this deficit for four, five, six months at 10%. Now, sometimes you will have uh, a plateau, so your body adapts, adaptations. Um, that's when you, if you're comfortable at 10% and you find you're not losing, and this is where we can adapt it and drop down to a bigger deficit. Again, don't be a hero and drop down to 30, 40%, just go 5% at a time. I would go 15% next, let's drop it down 15%, another 100 calories, and let's see where we are at in two weeks time. So that's my top tips on calorie deficits. Start with a 10% below maintenance and see how you get on after two or three weeks. Bye-bye.